Hey guys, Retro Gamer Steve back with another video. Uh, tonight's just going to be a pickup video of stuff that I've gotten over the last seven, eight days. <clears throat> um, but before we get started, uh, I just have a, a buddy whose uh, channel I'd like you to check out. The name of the channel is Contagious Collections. Uh, the guy's name is Sam. He does a lot of video game uh, pickups, movies, pop culture stuff. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff. Um, again, his channel's name is Contagious Collection. Go check him out. Uh, and before we get started, if you could, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, show me some love, and let's get into it, guys. All right, so first off, again, you guys know I like to spread my love through a ton of different systems. Um, so the first game that I got here is for the Wii, obviously. And it is called Endless Ocean Dive, Discover, Dream. Um, there's not much to this game. Um, it is uh, a diving type game. You're diving underwater. You're um, discovering new animals, new creatures, uh, stuff like that. And um, you can collect different things as you discover them. Um, so it's kind of just a serene type game, um, kind of at your own pace, just swim around, go where you want. Uh, it's not much more to it than that, but it looked like the type of game that I could just sit down and play and not really worry about completing anything specific. Uh, this is a complete copy. Uh, I think I paid three bucks for this. Um, not a bad deal. Um, but, uh, so yeah, here's another Wii game. <clears throat> uh, spreading some love to another system. I uh, got a couple DS games. I uh, got Theme Park. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have played a Theme Park type game where you just build your own theme park. Um, you have to try to keep your customers happy. Um, alter the price of admission, of snacks, change your rides, all that kind of stuff. These games have been around for a long time. Always hard to get these open with one hand. Um, I'm not sure if this one came with a manual or not. I would think it did. If it did, and I'm sure it probably did, this one doesn't have one. But uh, I don't really care. It's a theme park game. Uh, I think I paid two or three bucks for this. Um, so there's one. And then I also got Top Gun for the DS. Uh, I paid four bucks for this one. This one is complete. Full throttle dog fighting. I haven't uh, yet to play this. Um, I probably will at least try it out sometime this coming week. Looks like a pretty fun game. I love flying games, dogfighting games. Uh, so this should be pretty fun. But four bucks for that, not a bad deal. And the case is in nice shape. All right, moving on to another system. I got uh, Secret Agent Clank for the PSP. This is Clank from Ratchet and Clank. I've not played this yet. I just got this in today. But it is complete. I've been getting a lot of PSP games lately. So, uh, pretty cool. Then I got another one, uh, Castlevania, the Dracula X Chronicles. I got this one in about a week ago. Now this one does have Rondo of Blood, and then you can unlock Symphony of the Night. So both games are playable. This one is missing the manual, so I will be keeping my eyes out for that but the game disc is in nice shape. Um, I have played a couple hours of this game already, 
and this game is fantastic. Um, I have not unlocked Symphony of the Night yet, um, but I've gotten pretty far in Rondo of Blood, and I have unlocked the uh, female character. I forgot what her name is. Um, this chick right here, um, instead of using conventional weapons, she has animals. So instead of the whip, she throws doves. Uh, she can pick up a green dragon that she shoots out that kind of wipes across the screen and takes enemies out. Um, so she uses different types of animals as her weapons. Uh, she's much more agile. Um, she can double jump. Um, so the difference in characters is pretty wide. Um, but this game is fantastic. So if you guys have never played the Dracula X Chronicles for the PSP, this is a must have, I highly recommend it. So those are the two PSP games that I've gotten. On to another system. I got Mario Kart Super Circuit for the Game Boy Advance. This is a PAL version. Again, as you can tell with the European flags. Also, these things here are a clear indication that it's a PAL version. And same thing right there. And again, North American versions on the, not the front, but the front left side always have that type of thing not the CE um, thing here. It would always have the title of the game on the left side. Um, and this box isn't mint, but it's in decent shape. Uh, looks great from the front. Um, and uh, this is a really fun game. So highly recommend this game. I'm super glad I picked this one up. I love Mario Kart. I love Game Boy games in the box, and I'm glad to have this. So. There's my lone Game Boy game that I've gotten in the last week. All right, now on to another system I've been collecting for a lot here the last few weeks is the Game Gear. Um, I got Super Battle Tank. This is a sealed copy. I just got this in today. This is basically um, a game about the Iraq War. You are a tank going up against Soviet tanks. So I will find an open loose copy of this because I would like to play it. But uh, I love having sealed games and I've been collecting a lot for the Game Gear here lately. So there's that. And I also got a sealed copy of Sports Trivia Championship Edition. Um, I'm a big sports fan. I'm a big trivia fan. So I figured, what the hell. I think I got, I paid seven bucks for Super Battle Tank sealed. I think I paid seven bucks for Sports Trivia sealed. This is just basically a trivia game, but um, $7 for a sealed Game Gear game in really nice shape. Um, yeah, shut up and take my money all day long. I mean, here's two really minty sealed games that I paid 14 bucks for both of them delivered. That's not bad at all. Uh, same thing with the next two. Um, sealed copy of The Lion King for the Game Gear. This was also a $7 game. I mean, just the boxes alone, as far as I'm concerned, the artwork uh, is worth seven bucks sitting on my shelf. Um, so obviously I have not played any of these because they are, are all sealed, but because you know what I spent for sealed copies, you can imagine how cheap I can get some loose copies. Um, and I will so that I can play some of these but I do love having 
sealed copies in my collection. Then my last Game Gear game I picked up is a sealed copy of The Jungle Book. And again, I paid seven bucks for this one. And these boxes are just in fantastic shape. And um, just so you guys know, these are Game Gear protective boxes. Um, but when the games are sealed, the hang tab is pushed down. But these are designed to store them like this, which they don't even slide down. Um, or if you have an open one and that hang tag or hang tab is flipped up, you still have room for it in this box. So that's why these seem like they're bigger than they should be. But these are actually for Game Gear games that are sealed or open. Uh, so that thing could be facing straight up and you'd still have room for it in the box. Um, so yeah, I mean, four beautiful sealed Game Gear games and I paid $7 a piece, uh, $7 a piece for each one. So um, you can't really beat that. That is a fantastic deal. So there is some Game Gear love. Plus they just look so pretty sitting on a shelf. All right, on to another system here. Just got this in today. A beautiful copy of Virtual Fighter 2 for the Sega Saturn. Um, these games are getting harder and harder to find um, in really nice shape. There's always cracks. Um, the bottoms will be broken. The tops will be broken. The sides will be cracked. Uh, so this thing is in great shape. And um, this is a fantastic game. to show you guys it is complete obviously the manuals in here otherwise it would be a see-through case but it's been a while since I've gotten a Sega Saturn game so I had to pick this up and like I said this thing is in really nice shape so I am glad to have uh, added this to my collection I love the way that cover shines so there's a little Sega Saturn love. Next one is for the 3DS. I picked up the Scribblenauts Unlimited Special Edition uh, package here. Uh, this has been opened um, and the box um, was damaged a little bit during shipping. But this comes with the Scribblenauts Unlimited game. Comes with the 3DS pencil stylus and also a silicone fitted jacket for your 3DS that looks like the main character. Um, this thing is going for stupid money on eBay. Um, this is all complete. Uh, I'm not going to mess with taking it all out of here, but Basically, it's the stylus, the game, and the silicone um, cover for your 3DS. I got this for $32. Um, the cheapest that I have seen this going for is at least $75. And even open ones complete are going for two to $300. Uh, so I actually won this on eBay for $32 shipped. So uh, super lucky and glad to have picked this up for a really cheap price because these seem to be going for a lot more money. So there's my lone 3DS game. All right, now to switch it up a little bit. Um, you guys know I love my handhelds and that uh, I collect 
a lot of different color variants and special editions. So this is the Game Boy Red Play It Loud with the plastic case. Um, as you guys know, the number matches there to there. So this is the one that goes in this plastic box. I love the purchase date. <clears throat> All of my Play It Loud Game Boys are in their plastic cases. Now I have the red one. This is in really nice shape. That gives me the regular Game Boy, the clear Play It Loud, the yellow Play It Loud, the black and the green Play It Loud, and now the red. So the only two colors I am missing for the DMG Game Boys is the blue uh, Play It Loud, which was released in Europe, and the white Play It Loud, which was released in Japan. Um, both of those are going for basically crazy money. Um, loose, I have not found either one complete in their plastic case. Um, I am keeping my eyes out for those, but like I've said, I have seen some white ones, just the uh, system going for well over $100. Um, that's just crazy. I paid 50 for this uh, with the case and three games. Um, and uh, I think that's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. So I'm, I've got all of the colors except for the blue and the white. But uh, I love these things. I love the plastic cases for them, so I'm glad to have this. All right, switching it up just a little bit again. I love my Neo Geo Pocket Colors, so I picked up a third Neo Geo Pocket Color system. This is the Stone Blue. Um, this is all complete in the box. Box is sealed on one side, has been opened on the other. And here is the Stone Blue system. Screen's got a few little marks on it, but um, actually I haven't even cleaned this off, so some of this might clean off. Uh, not a huge deal. This thing is in really nice shape other than that, and um, I can always replace the screens if need be, but this thing is complete. It is in nice shape. Um, for those of you that haven't seen any of my previous videos, especially my Neo Geo Pocket Color video, this is my favorite handheld for fighting games. And you can hear that clicky stick is just so responsive and so amazing to play on. It is uh, just the best handheld for fighting games. So. I do have three complete Neo Geo Pocket Colors now. Staying with the Neo Geo, I got the Nyko Power Worm Light for the Neo Geo Pocket. These things are rare and these go for about a hundred bucks online if you can even find one in the box. Uh, basically, what this thing does is it has, it's a white light source because these are not backlit, so it's somewhat hard to play in low light or the dark. Um, the lifetime light never needs replacing. Um, also comes with a charger and a plug-in to your battery section, so uh, you don't need batteries. Um, and so basically, it's a a rechargeable battery pack 
and a worm light that plugs into that. And uh, again, these things are rare. Um, there's actually only one, I believe, on eBay for sale right now in the box, and it is a hundred bucks. And uh, that is the only one for sale. These things are really hard to find. Um, and when you do find them, they're crazy expensive. So I have a complete one in the box. And I also ordered the only loose one I could find. Um, so it doesn't have the box, but it does have all of this that you see here. Um, plus the AC adapter. Um, and I've got that coming also <clears throat> should be here in the next week uh, so I'm really glad to have this um, I love this system and I love having rare items to find for that then I also got bust a move pocket this is a bust a move puzzle game I'm sure you guys have all played this before but a ton of fun and I love the boxes for the Neo Geo games. I also got Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure. Um, this box has a little bit of damage around the top left hand corner. But uh, this is actually one of my favorite Sonic games to play. This thing plays great and looks fantastic on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And I love having boxes for these games. And then my last item here is Metal Slug First Mission. This is also complete. All three of these are complete in the box with their game and manual. Got my dog scratching at my door. So that is my Neo Geo Pocket Color bundle that I just got in. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, if you could, please subscribe, hit that like button. Um, let me know what you guys think. And then um, again, go check out my buddy Sam with Contagious Collection. He's got a great channel, a lot of great items. I think you guys will enjoy his videos if you like watching mine. Uh, I really appreciate everybody that's subscribed to my channel, that watches my videos, and that uh, chooses to spend their time watching my video game videos so thank you guys for for the time um and until next time have a great week and i'll see you guys in about a week thanks for watching